Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fade into different colors here. So last tutorial, I showed you how to set up a box trigger to fade out. Let's just drag this fade in here, and I'm just going to autoplay this here. Now, as we saw in a couple tutorials ago, it faded from black. Well, how do we go and... Um, fade from a different color. Well, this is actually really easy, and I'm going to talk a little bit about fading uh, different colors here. So if we go to properties here, you can see that we now have this fade in color. And one of the things that I highly recommend that you do, um, for instance, is to play around with the color uh, and fade into a different color, because fading into white or fading into black is actually not a bad way of um, of, of doing it. But if you if your game is like in a green area, then maybe fading into green might be just a little bit better. Okay, it might, it might not, and um, and there we go. And one other thing is that if you have audio, it's maybe good to click that as well. So in this case, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, um, uh, playing in uh, this here. Now, this is an error, so it comes up with this error, and I actually, when I was uh, doing this here, um, I had to... Um, figure out what was going on here. And the answer was uh, that basically um, this, uh, uh, I have to save the level. So if you get that error, you will have to save the level here. So let's just go ahead and let's move that sequencer here. And as you can see, you can now fade in from white, okay? Now you can do this with essentially any single color that you want, right? So let's go ahead and let's just change it to, I don't know, purple or something like that, right? So we can change in from that purple and let's go ahead and, uh, of course, we have to save it first and then play it, right? So now we can fade in from purple. Now generally it's better if you, if you are going to pick a color, pick like a darker color like so. Uh, that if you wanted to do purple here, this is a much better purple to, to go from, right? So, yeah, maybe something like that. Push OK. There we go. OK, and then, of course, we still want the end to be 0. And then we're going to save that, push play, and there you go. So we now have, uh, well, a different color that you're going to start from. All right, so that concludes this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you really like this content, uh, please uh, consider subscribing to Mammoth Interactive's huge e-learning uh, library. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month. This channel does new Patreon, and I'll see you in the next video.